In a Bucharest courtroom recently, Florine Ciorce was tried and sentenced. He was convicted of beating to death an 11-year-old girl. What made this case unique was that the accused was a former member of the Romanian Olympic gymnastics team. His victim was one of his most promising students. Adriana Giorca's mother, Maria, was distressed by the verdict. She felt the eight-year sentence was too lenient. It had taken three months before the grief-stricken parents even learned the truth about their daughter's killing. Initially, the cause of Adriana's death had been hushed up by her club and the authorities. Maria and her husband were told there had been an accident during training. The truth had come as a complete shock to them. În primul rând, no, nu ne-a spus niciodată că a bătut-o. Deși era întrebată în fiecare zi când ajungea acasă, ce a făcut la sală, cum i-au mers exercițiile, în ce a fost pregătirea și dacă a fost o dată, a luat ceva palme. This amateur video footage shows Adriana at practice in the gym. She'd been a member of the Dinamo Bucharest team for five years. At 11 years old, she was on her way to becoming a star. Regarded as future Olympic material, Adriana was going for a place on the Romanian national team. With a big competition coming up, the tension was mounting. The coach claims he was only trying to push Adriana to do better, that he hates physical violence. He said the lack of money and bad working conditions were impeding his program. I promised to the parents that I will uh, make from their girls uh, good gymnasts. And uh, I, was, I wasn't capable to do this in these conditions. I loved her very much because uh, he was a very special girl and uh, when you love somebody you try to do the best for him. And I was trying so hard to do the best for, for, for her and I was doing bad. Renowned for the excellence of its gymnasts, the Romanian selection program begins early. State officials and trainers look for girls of five to six years old with good looks, appropriately athletic build, and a flexible body. They're transferred to schools near the sports club, and after lessons, they do up to five hours of gymnastics a day. There's intense pressure on coaches and students alike to succeed. And it's clear that in spite of the trainer's protestations, their methods are often harsh. Even corporal punishment is not uncommon. When uh, we are not uh, in uh, big competitions, uh, the beginning of year, just like now, uh, we started to learn uh, new moves, and uh, we are like friends. We uh, tried uh, five times, ten times, twenty, hundred, and uh, we don't be. We are not angry with them. But after that, uh, before competition, we must be very strong, and uh, they understand. But on the day in question, Adriana's coach was more than just strong. Her father found her unconscious in the club's changing room. He took her to a Bucharest hospital. The little girl was in a coma for two days before she died. The autopsy showed she had suffered a cerebral edema and a broken neck. The findings indicated death due to violent blows with a blunt object. Although the club maintained the child had hurt herself while exercising, Adriana's friends had witnessed the incident. Mario Ara Chindras described how Florine had hit and kicked Adriana, screaming at her. He had lifted her body up into the air and thrown her to the floor. And although they'd been forbidden to speak out, Adriana's colleagues told their parents the truth. He beat us every day with a big stick. If we didn't do what he said, then he lined us in a row and beat us. 
The concrete ghettos of Bucharest's housing estates are the typical recruiting ground for Romania's young gymnasts. Athletic excellence is regarded as a way out of this life, and the chosen few are driven to make the most of their opportunity. This was Adriana's second home for five years, and it was this close-knit community which was to close ranks to protect her killer. The administrators of the Romanian Gymnastics Federation defend the training methods passed down from generation to generation. But to a mourning mother who has lost her little girl, the country's preeminence in gymnastics is no consolation. 